Hi everyone, my name is Dinesh Sarasena and I'm a consultant in sports and exercise medicine. I use ultrasound regularly in my clinical practice and today we're going to be talking about the glenohumeral joint and in particular performing injections into it. Let's remind ourselves a little bit about imaging the glenohumeral joint first. You can have the subject seated upright or in a prone position. The advantage of having this subject seated upright is that the shoulder is a lot more maneuverable and this is particularly useful when you're undertaking general imaging of the shoulder joint. The advantage of having the patient in a prone position like in the second image is that it's a lot more comfortable for the subject but also as a clinician when you're undertaking your imaging and the injections your images will be a lot more stable. Irrespective of whether the patient is sitting upright or lying prone I would suggest you approach the injection from a lateral to medial orientation. This means that you can use the humeral head to help guide the needle into the glenohumeral joint. And it also means that it remains a lot more stable throughout the procedure. Here's an image just to illustrate the injection itself. The white arrow represents the needle and you're taking the needle into the glenohumeral joint using a lateral to medial approach. The needle should be at around 50 or 60 degrees depending on the habitus of the subject and as you pass the needle into the glenohumeral joint it may be kind of painful for the subject. So sometimes what I tend to do is I infiltrate the area with local anesthetic prior to undertaking the glenohumeral joint injection. Once the needle's inside the joint itself, it's fairly stable because the joint is quite small and it kind of holds on to the needle itself. And whatever you're injecting, be it steroid or fluid of any other kind, you should see it flowing around the glenohumeral joint quite freely. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the video useful and whatever you have learned from it, you can use in your clinical practice. If you did, Please remember to hit the like down below and subscribe to the channel for further updates. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And please check out sportsmedinfo.sg, which has lots of useful information for clinicians and patients alike. I hope to see you all very soon, so take care for now. Bye-bye.